Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial of embedded system. Today uh, I am going to tell you about something about embedded system. Firstly we will start with some basics. Here firstly we will consider a word system. It consists of two words embedded and system. We will first consider system and what is system. A system is a way of working, organizing or doing one or more tasks according to a fixed plan, program or sets of rules. A system is also an arrangement in which all its units assemble and work together according to plan or a program which we made. Like if we consider an example of watch. It is a time display system. Its parts are its hardware, needles, battery with a beautiful dial chases and strap these parts organize to show the real time every second and continuously updates the time every second the system program updates the display using three needles after each second it follows a set of rules some of these rules are as mm, given all needles move only clockwise secondly a thin and long needle rotates every second such that it returns to the same position after one minute. And third is the long needle rotates every minute such that it returns the same position after an hour. Fourth is the short needle rotates every hour such that it returns to same position after 12 hours. All three needles return to same inclination after 12 hours each day like second example is considering a washing machine it is an automatic clothes washing system the important hardware part includes its status display panel its switches and dials for user defined program a motor to rotate or spin its power supply and control unit an inner water level sensor a solenoidal value for uh, solenoidal valve I'm sorry for letting water in and another val valve for letting water drain out these parts organize to wash clothes automatically according to program preset by a user fine the system program is activated to wash the dirty clothes placed in a tank which rotates or spins in pre-programmed steps and stages like if clockwise one one uh, once it will move uh, clockwise and secondly then it will, it will move anti-clockwise. It follows a set of rules. Some of these rules are first uh, follow the step strictly in the following sequence. Step 1 is wash by spinning the motor according to a programmed period. Second is rinse in fresh water after drying out the dirty water, draining out the dirty water. And rinse the second and rinse a second time. If the system is not programmed in water saving mode, then step three will be after draining out the water completely, spin the motor fast for a programmed period for drying by centrifuging out water from the clothes. Then step four will be show the wash wash over status by blinking in display. Sound alarm for a minute to signal that the wash cycle is complete. Fun. Second is at each step display the process stage of the system like if the clothes are rinsed, clothes are washed, these levels are updated at every stage. Third is in case of any interruption execute only the remaining part of the program starting from the position when the process was interrupted. There can be no repetition from step 1 unless the user resets the system by inserting another set of clocks and resets the program. Now, next is we will come to embedded system basics. Here we will have what is embedded system. It's overview. A brief discussion of what is an embedded system. Uh, commonly we know that the definition of embedded system is an embedded system is a system that has embedded software and computer hardware which makes a system dedicated for an application or specific part of an application or product or a part 
of a larger system. Embedded system has been defined by different books and different publishers. Uh, so every book and every individual publisher has different uh, definitions for embedded system. But it concludes the one and same thing. Like if we consider a book written by Wayne Wolf, author of Computers and Components, Principle of Embedded Computing System Design. Here, embedded system is defined as it is any device that includes a programmable computer that is not itself intended to be a general purpose computer and a fax machine or a clock built from a microprocessor is an embedded computing system. Like there are many different authors like uh, Todd D. Morton, David E. Simon, etc. Th those who have different, these um, writers have their different definition for embedded system. Fine. Now let's take a look on what is a computer. A computer can be defined as a system which consists of more number of components one or more num num number of components like a microprocessor a large memory where memory can be of two are of two kinds that's primary memory and secondary memory in under primary memory the it can be classified as random access memory ram and read only memory fine and in secondary memory it can be classified as magnetic memory located in hard disk cartridge tapes, optical memory in CD-ROMs or memory sticks in mobile computers using which different user programs can be loaded into primary memory and run. Next is input output unit such as touch screen modem, fax cum modem etc. Fourth is input units such as keyboard, mic, digitizer, scanner and output units are LCD screens, video monitors, printers etc. Like it have some networking units too. Those are Ethernet card, front end processor based server, bus drivers etc. For this we need an operating system. And this operating system has a general purpose user and application software in secondary memory. Fine. An embedded system uh, can be divided into three main components. It embeds hardware similar to a computer as its software usually embeds in ROM or flash memory. It usually do not need a secondary hard disk and CD memory as in a computer. These are the three main components of embedded system here. Here we are talking about embedded system not system. Fine. So it, its three main objectives are. Next is it embeds main application software. The application software may concurrently perform a series of tasks or processes or threads. Like embedded system can perform simultaneously uh, more than one operations at a time. Like if we consider a computer or a laptop. We can simultaneously serve internet. We can simultaneously do uh, work on windows we can play games we can play music so we can say that computers or a laptop it is an embedded system fine third point third main component of an embedded system is it embeds a real-time operating system that supervises the application software running on hardware and organizes access to a resource according to priorities of the system like I told you the example of a laptop or personal computers the working or the operations of the task is based on the priorities and these priorities are decided by the system fine the concept of process and threads we these process of concept concepts of threads and uh, task are explained in further videos you can check it out fine so by this we are done with the overview of embedded system and in next slide next videos you can check out for further basics or further detailed descriptions of embedded system